William Kreisel was one of the great mid-century modernist architects in Southern California. He did design work that was truly influential in terms of forms that followed the function of the architecture. He values architecture as an art form that is for people. He never saw it purely as a formal expression. He always saw it as a vehicle for people to come together or for them to be at peace with themselves in their abode. Bill believed that modernism wasn't a style, it was a way of thinking. It was what is needed now, what can we do now, that was driving architecture and driving Bill. William Kreisel's work created architecture for the masses, architecture for each one of us and not just for the elite. All my life I had come from a very privileged background. And when I went in the Army, I got to know the ordinary person. And I could get a feeling that everybody wanted to live in Southern California. And every veteran wanted a home. And so I decided when I came back to USC that I was going to concentrate my efforts on housing for veterans. When Bill came to school in USC, that's the time when the whole world is embracing modernism. Mid-century modern, it might have been everywhere, but it was especially here at USC and in Los Angeles. USC had been moving toward modernism before World War II, but with the GI Bill that was passed in 1944, it meant that men could come back from the war and start their lives brand new. As one World War II veteran said to me, we had just won a war. How difficult could it be to build a house? Bill was a businessman. Bill knew how to work with the clients and developers and bring them along and to educate them. I think he was one of the first architects to successfully bring good design in, into the residential design world at, at a volume that I think few people have been able to do. He truly integrated form and function and was not there to just create an image, but there to create a beautiful environment where people could live. In my total career, I have designed and had built over 40,000 living units. And I have done 35 high-rise buildings in my career and all kinds of other projects, everything from custom homes to shopping centers, to hospitals, to schools, just about anything you can do. So this neighborhood, called Twin Palms Estates, was the Alexander's first neighborhood in Palm Springs. All the houses are, of course, designed by Bill Kreisel, but every house in here is the same exact house, with very few exceptions, yet each one uniquely and completely different in certain ways. Beautiful materials, nicely updated, honoring the mid-century, clear story windows, the angled roof, the butterfly over the garage. It looks, if you will, like a rectangular ranch house, but the actual plan of that 1,600 square foot house is a perfect square for all kinds of efficiencies, all kinds of new ideas. Bill Kreisel, in around 40,000 housing units throughout the country, really was absolutely premier in bringing real design and real architecture to mass housing for the very first time and really changed how Americans lived. Kreisel took common materials and made them magic. And he did that, for example, with a material that he later called shadow block. And light and shadow, if you have a regular rhythmic pattern, it animates a particular plane. Modernism is about a proper use of material space that put together in a way that's very economical, very accommodating, but very aspiring as well. One of the things that you notice about living in one of his homes is that it's an easy home to take care of. Everything is very logical, very efficient, and beautiful at the same time. For example, you can see the beams which carry through all the way and so it really looks like the house is kind of fading away into the backyard. 
even though there are houses really just on either side of us and this is a modest tract home development it really feels like an open space when we're in here we feel like we're in our own private oasis you know i think it was mark twain who said if i had more time i would have written you a shorter letter well bill has effectively done the same thing it is very difficult to design something that's very simple bill has handled it beautifully and each of his homes is like living in a work of art William Chrysler's work in the modern vein put forth a different way of living. Instead of having closed a lot of walls, a lot of small rooms, he opened spaces up. He allowed the natural light to come in. He opened up kitchens to living rooms and created great spaces. I felt that architecture was indivisible from the inside and the outside, and that the house didn't stop at the glass wall, and therefore I wanted to be in control of both the interior and exterior, and the whole site. When we first had our son come down, we were showing him the layout of the house. Uh, we got into this room here, and he looked out onto the courtyard and glanced over on the other side and said, well, who lives over there? And I said, well, that's where you just came from. <laughs> <laughs> From every room, you get to enjoy the patio, which makes every room so much larger. Yeah. It makes living here just enjoyable. It makes us feel happy and actually more healthy, I think. We love his architecture, and once you live in a Chrysler home, you'll want to live in a Chrysler home forever. I think Bill's work will be valued into the future. I think that the fact that the Getty Center wanted his archives is actually the best indication of that. As people rediscover architects in time, I think he will be one of those architects that will continue to be looked at. I hope that those who remember William Kreisel and his work will have one takeaway, and that is that he brought architecture of the masses and that has stood the test of time. As an architect you'll get awards for design and some architects get it for longevity <laughs> and some architects get it for innovation and Bill deserves this because he's got all those. I have been an architect for 65 years. I wake up every day and thank everyone for helping me to achieve what I have done in my lifetime and USC was a very integral part of that life. Bill Chrysler is a true Trojan for all what he has done, not only for his client, but also for the community, for the world. We're honored to give him the Distinguished Alumni Award.